Hey everyone, it's Tim Balls here. Just wanted to give everyone a little update on the status of my channel. Uh, making this video, it's uh, I'll prove it January 19th, so I'm not going to be able to upload this until February. But uh, you can see, hopefully, on my phone here, that it's uh, January 19th, just after midnight, so it's really the 18th in my mind still. Yeah, so a couple of things have happened. First, I launched the New York City Pinball Championship. This is going to be a tournament coming up May 18th to 20th in New York City. I'm working on that with a team of people. We're going to bring a great tournament to you guys in New York City. Check it out on nycpinballchamps.com for all info about that. It's going to be a lot of fun. The other thing, a really big thing that happened in my life right around the same time was I was contacted by Stern Pinball. Went through an interview process with them and I'm going to wind up starting for them in early February. So by the time you see this video I will have started with them. It's currently not announced. I just wanted to make this video to like get out ahead of anyone putting any rumors out there that says like, oh they're going to make me take down my videos. Or That's not going to happen. I'm just going to clear this up right now. What's happened with me personally is because I now have the opportunity to do pinball as a as a job rather than a hobby my creative energy and everything around it has just totally focused on first getting this job and then the contributions I'll be able to bring to my job there so for the foreseeable future this channel will stay up I'm not going to take any videos down everything made was made at the time when I was not employed by Stern Pinball so it's all just represents me as an individual from now on, I will be, you know, hopefully for a long time, a uh, software engineer at Stern. And anything I made in the future would be, first it would be extra energy that I'm already spending at my job every day to make great pinball machines. So it's going to be tough there, but it's also going to be really tough for me to do what I originally wanted to do with the channel because suddenly I'll be looking like a representative of Stern Pinball rather than just an independent reviewer or critic or you know, tutorial person or anything. So just for the, I still have projects I'm working on, I still have some other stuff in the pipeline. I'm going to get it out there eventually, you know. I have to deal with the move, I have to deal with getting set up at a new job. I'm moving from New York where I currently live to Chicago. I just sold this pinball machine tonight, someone's picking it up on Sunday. All sorts of stuff are happening, so I just like don't have the time and energy to really deal with my channel right now. I just wanted to make this video real quick, and I'm going to go to bed right after. Tomorrow is my last day in my current job. All this sort of stuff's happening, but just to like be like, oh, it, you know, from now on, the channel, it's and the streaming is pretty much done. And I know a lot of people have been coming up to me and saying like. Tim, you streaming again? Are you doing this again? And it's just like, I, I have to wind it down because there's just no way I can spend the energy, you know, 40, 50, 60, 70 hours a week working on code for pinball machines and then come home and still want to make videos about pinball machines. The other part of it too is that like my job at Stern, I believe, you know, personally, that I'll actually be able to make a much bigger impact in the ways I wanted to, like growing the hobby, growing the sport, growing the interest, especially among, you know, people my age, other millennials, younger people. I think I'll have a great opportunity to do that. I'm actually very excited about that. More excited than I was about the projects that I w would have done on my YouTube channel. Even though I was, you know, very happy to be making YouTube videos, I was starting to get better at using my DSLR, getting better at tagging my videos, getting better at creating content that people wanted. I was starting to hit kind of a stride here at the end of 2017, and, you know, so that's going to be gone, unfortunately. So it just sucks. But, um,. So the channel's going to stick around, it's not going anywhere, nothing's getting removed, it's just not going to have the content initially in the pinball space where I had done it before. Uh, I've always been, you know, for the past 10 years of my life, which is, you know, I'm not a ton of time, but, you know, YouTube hasn't been around that long. I've been making videos since 2008. I've been doing creative stuff all the time, but I've never had, you know, in school or in my job, I've never had a creative role, and I do have that now. So I really have no idea what that's going to do 
because I've always had some sort of creative energy and I wanted to put it into, you know, internet media projects like videos, like streaming, like all this other stuff was super interesting to me. And now I just have no idea what's going to happen. I mean, I'm going to keep the channel around. Maybe I'm going to go ahead and make some new type of video that is interesting to me. There's been stuff that I've thought about, but it wasn't really fit with the pinball theme of the channel. We'll see what happens. I just don't know right now about anything. What I also want to say is it's been really great to have the experience of having people, you know, come up to me at tournaments and, and really give me, you know, show me appreciation for making the videos. That was uh, pretty incredible. I've never really had people I didn't know come up to me before and say like, hey, I appreciate your Star Wars tutorial, your dialed in tutorial, or that other video you did, but a lot of people seem to like it. So I'd recommend for other people who are involved in the pinball hobby, uh, if you want to start vlogging, there's a huge opportunity to do this. Generally in pinball, there's like these like gaps in content where you see them in video games, you see them in other subcultures, and it's like there's stuff there. Like people want a person who's going to vlog about pinball every day, just a dedicated pinball vlogger. People want people to talk about you know their experiences and in getting into it. People want all this sort of stuff. There will be an audience there, so I really do hope that with some of the things I wanted to do, I start to see other people similarly doing those sorts of videos and do those sorts of projects. But ultimately, I just want to thank anyone who subscribed to my YouTube channel. Thanks anyone who subscribed or gave me bits on Twitch. Like, it all kind of motivated me to keep going uh, for the past, you know, I did it for about a year. And it was a lot of fun. So thank you very much.